You're watching Nightline, I'm Norzi Patwanche. The top stories. Labour recalibration plan extended to four sub-sectors in service industry, says Home Minister. And Indonesia races against time to locate missing submarine as its oxygen will run out on Saturday. The Indonesian Navy is racing against time to rescue 53 personnel trapped inside a missing submarine. As a military official warned, the vessel would run out of oxygen by early Saturday. According to the Chief of Staff of the Indonesian Navy, Admiral Yudo Margono, based on calculations from when the vessel lost contact during a military exercise on Wednesday, the submarine has oxygen for 72 hours during a power blackout and it is estimated to last only until 3 a.m. on Saturday. He added that there was some hope as the search party had detected a strong magnetic field at about 50 to 100 meters depth, but the object emitting it has not yet been identified. The German-made KRI Nangala 402 went missing on Wednesday after asking for permission to dive at 3 a.m. local time before losing contact. It was reported that the submarine had just fired two torpedoes, one with real ammunition and another with a practice warhead as part of training exercises in the Bali Strait. An oil spill was then discovered near the vessel's last known position. The Royal Malaysian Navy, RMN, meanwhile, has deployed its submarine rescue ship MV Megabakti on Thursday morning to assist in the search for the missing KRI Nangala. The Defence Ministry in a statement said MV Megabakti set off from the Submarine Command Headquarters Operations Jetty in Teluk Sepangar, Kota Kinabalu, Sabah and was expected to reach its destination at 3 p.m. on Sunday. The search and rescue operation is headed by Commander Muhammad Hairul Fahmi Yob and would involve 54 crew members, including 10 Malaysian Armed Forces, MAF, medical officers and personnel. Among the equipment on board the vessel are the distress submarine ventilation depressurized system and intervention remotely operated vehicle with launch and recovery systems, which is capable of operating at 650 metre depths. This is MV Mega Bhakti's second operation after being involved in the search for MH370 when the plane was reported missing in the Indian Ocean in 2014. Earlier, Senior Minister for Security Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob contacted his Indonesian counterpart Prabowo Subianto to express his sympathy following the incident and to inform him that Malaysia would be providing assistance. Media practitioners and non-governmental organizations were treated to Breaking of Fast on Thursday, hosted by International Trade and Industry Ministry, METI. As we wrap the bulletin, we leave you visuals of the iftar. With that, I'm Norzi Patwanshi. Thank you for watching and to all our Muslim viewers, Selamat Bersahur.